Snap-on Training Solutions helps you get the most out of your Ethos Tech diagnostic tool. This training module covers the use of scanner data in graphing view. Live data parameters are some of the most valuable clues to help track down a vehicle fault. Live data is one form of backdoor information, or data that is output from the electronic control module, or ECM. A numeric view of parameter ID, or PID data, will not always reveal problems or show relationships between PIDs. Graphing relationships between data parameters gives you a view of performance over time. Data graphing can show momentary failures and data trends over time. The view icon switches the live data viewing mode between a numeric view and a graphing display. From one to four graphs can be displayed on the screen. The graph provides a large number of data points plotted so you can compare events over time. Multiple graphs allow you to view relationships between components. Scroll down for more data using the scroll bar on the right. All data is continuously being recorded for all available parameters for the selected ECM. Values to the left of each graph show the current, maximum, and minimum values of captured data. Minimum and maximum values are stored even after the data has rolled off the screen. The PID trigger is a valuable tool to automatically capture data when a parameter value is outside of normal range. The set trigger command sets upper and lower values to start recording a data movie when the signal crosses the set value. This is similar to an OBD2 freeze frame. To set a trigger, select the data parameter you want to use. Then tap the trigger button and select Set Trigger from the drop-down menu. Tap the plus and minus buttons on the toolbar or use the up and down arrow buttons to position the upper trigger line to the desired level. Tap the check mark on the toolbar or press the yes button to accept the value. The lower trigger level line will appear on the graph. Position the line to the desired level. Tap the check mark on the toolbar to accept the lower trigger value. The trigger points will appear as horizontal lines across the designated parameter graph. Triggers can be set on up to three parameters at once. To arm the triggers, tap the PID trigger button on the toolbar and select Arm Triggers from the drop-down menu. The trigger lines on the data graphs change color to indicate an armed condition, and any data point outside of your set conditions will pause the data collection and save a recording. Once triggering is armed, it remains on until you clear or disarm. The save icon saves any current screen information, along with all data stored in the buffer. Simply tap the save icon. Then select View Save Data to recall and view the data movie. Tap the Previous Vehicles and Data icon on the home screen and select View Saved Data. Select the movie file you wish to view. Change to Graph View. Use the scroll buttons to scroll forward or back through the collected data. Single arrows move one data point. Double arrows move 420 data points at a time. Scroll down to view more data parameters. The zoom icon incrementally increases and decreases the scale of the data being displayed. Tap the zoom icon and select a plus level to zoom in for more detail. Select a minus level to zoom out and see more data. Snap-on is dedicated to helping you get the most out of your diagnostic tool and keep your customers happy. Click here to watch the next module in this Training Solutions series. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss the next great product from Snap-on.